Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with me, Victoria Nolan. Ghost. Ghost. Cheese. Cheese. In episode three of AMI's new series, We Are One, we meet the Gillison family. I'm Katie Schultz. I'm Emery and Lily's mother. I'm Lily, um, Lily Gillison, and I'm Emery's big sister. Hi, I'm Emery Gillison. I'm turning 15. And I'm Marcus Gillison. I'm Lily and Emery's father. We Are One highlights Canadian families in the disability community as they experience their own set of unique joys, struggles, and successes. We are the Gillison family and we are one. When Marcus and Katie noticed that Emery wasn't hitting the milestones of kids his age, they decided they needed to take a closer look. He seemed healthy, but there was no bounce in that kid at all. And we would have, you know, our friends over with their three-year-old boys. And Emery would just be sitting there watching them. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. yeah, there are many nights staring at the ceiling, having conversations in the dark about you know what's going on yeah there's there's something we we need to take this further which we did emery was diagnosed with duchenne muscular dystrophy at the age of three duchenne muscular dystrophy is a rare genetic disorder that causes muscle deterioration and weakness it affects one in 2500 boys it's just you're gutted it's just you don't even know what to feel because you're, you're so shocked over the years, the family has had to learn how Duchenne muscular dystrophy could impact their lives. Since Emery's first diagnosis, using medication and corticosteroids slowed down its progress. But it's a race, and Emery is doing off the charts well in terms of the rate of decline. He's, he's on a very slow rate of decline, but it's also a disease where some of these kids are doing really well one day and then just they wake up another day or something happens you know they fall down they break a leg and then they're really not okay growing up with duchenne muscular dystrophy meant being careful with everyday tasks and using assistive devices when needed i mean i have to use a stair lift to get to my room what other thing do you use regularly wheelchair yeah and why do you do that? Because I don't want to like my muscles to get broken down from walking, because then they can't fix themselves. You can really work on having a really rich, full day and life and experience, and that sometimes that means um, using assistive devices, even even like his tablet for his artwork or his wheelchair or the stair lift to get him up and down to give him independence in the house, even though he can walk. These are my ankle foot orthotics, or AFOs as I call them. Basically when I sleep, instead of my foot being up and straight facing the air, it like leans down like this. And the AFO right here, since I can't move down, it stops the foot from doing that, which basically, I guess, stops the muscles in my feet from wearing themselves down by bending down like that. The Gillisons leaned on family and friends for support as they navigated the unknowns of Duchenne. Hey, Harper, did we forget to give you fruit? It definitely takes like a whole village. It does. It takes and, a to raise and a child. To raise a child or to deal with a, a challenge. Like the family of Katie's best friend, Shauna Weston, who was there from the beginning. She lived around the corner from Sick Kids when we were there. Like anything we needed, she would just come. So she'd go to work, she'd come home, she'd check in with us. She came and sat with Emery for an hour and a half while we walked down the street and just tried to have an hour. And she has a son, he's seven years old, but he's like Emery's little cousin. You're like Lil the Bell. I want Lil the Bower. As with any 15 year old, Emery just wants to have fun and enjoy life. I'm just a normal guy. 